Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. And we are in the Knight's Tomb. It's towards the end of the game. Don't know how close to the end of the game. It depends on how many subquests I do, I guess. Uh, anyway, we've got to explore the Knight's Tomb, so let's do it. Nice autosave. Alright. So, what all is out here? Well, sorry about that. I'm kind of looking at. There we go. I was going to say, I was kind of looking at the surroundings, but now we've got an encounter. Halt, you are trespassing on the ancient tomb of the night. Mighty Titans, I wish only to witness the marvels you have so ferociously protected. There we go. We'll try a reason. Uh, and this is pretty abysmal. Got to win five times in a row. Uh, three more times in a row. Or not necessarily in a row, but three more times. Oh no! Oh no! It's tied up! Taking the lead again. Got got to do two more times. Oh no, this is close. This is close. What's going to be? Now he's ahead. Oh no, he wins. Looks like it's going to be a fight. The Watchful Guardian. Who are you who seek the secrets of the Knight's Tomb? We will crush you underfoot, intruder. All right. So I'm presuming there's going to be... S oh, these statues are actually moving. Oh, no! These are big. We got one, two, three, four. This one seems like it should have been the one to pop up instead of that middle one. Four, and then the Watchful Guardian kind of left. Well... Let's try and focus on one, then. That one's got a one-handed weapon. This one's got a one-handed weapon. That one's got a one-handed weapon that's glowing. This one's got a one-handed weapon. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and focus on this one first, then, I guess. Well, now that I've got my priorities settled... Uh, let's pull up a decapitator. Getting the ranged power stance. Come on. No, that's all he's got. Okay. Her turn. Let's go ahead and get Nick. And let's try and slow that one. Fortunately, they look like they're pretty slow to begin with. Slow failed. Alright, not a problem. We'll go ahead and pull... I don't know about the Undead Warrior. We're going to try the Fire Elemental here. Because that seems like it's more likely to hit the stone. Wow. It... Did it knock him down? Awesome! Now I didn't want to back up. Oh well. Alright. Let's just go ahead and attack it. Can we blaze it? 420 blaze it. Or something. Whatever. Whatever the kids are saying these days. Yeah, that's all they can do. Ah, do we want... Do we have another summon that we can do? Yeah, we do. Right here. And we've still got enough left over to bring up Power Stance. Bring up Fast Track. Grant me swiftness. Stay back, my friend. All right, Nick, what can you do? Continue to wail that way at it. And then it's their turn. Yeah, they are kind of slow. I bet they hit, like, trucks, too. This one's got a fire sword. This one's got a lightning sword. Damn, they're slow. Oh, 
Oh no! Jahan! This one's got a slightly different lightning sword. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think that's supposed to be Earth. Let's continue to hammer away on this one since he's down. It's immune to poison. Can we weaken it? Mm, it failed. We could technically weaken it, but it failed. Alright, what you gonna do, Roderick? Move to here. And do... Uh, I kind of feel like Infect would be useless against these things. Could we freeze one of these guys? Frozen, yes! And while we're here, we're going to go ahead and toss another little bit of DPS on this guy. Oh no, he's getting up. That's all he did. Knockdown failed. Come on, do something. That's all he can do. Fire elemental, do something. Well, we're taking one of them down. Like, there are worse things to have here. Go ahead and get melee power stance. Try and cripple this one. For the seven! Failed. We'll let our summons deal with this one. Because it's already almost down. Oh, you can disease a statue? That's interesting. Jahan, just get the hell away. And get Jahan to here. And try and freeze the other one. Two of them are frozen. It's a good start. It's a good start. Let's try and knock this down. I'm invincible. Uh, yeah, except you didn't knock him down, Medora. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, missed. Come on, bring him down. Bring him down. Roderick. This one still frozen? Yeah. Boom. Alright, which one do we go to next? Oh yeah, this one. Whittle it down a little bit. That's it. Alright, Decapitator. Do your job! Well, something just exploded. Oh yeah, the Elemental. Let's continue to hammer away at it. Go on, Nick! Get into melee. And I guess turn this into a disease. Failed. Did a fair amount of damage to him, though. Alright, Jahan, what will you do? I guess we have no choice but to get an undead warrior up. I need to pull undead to decapitate her up on Jahan. No one's in need of a heal yet. So this guy's stunned on the ground. May as well finish him off. I'm presuming they're immune to bleed. They're not. It just failed. Nice. And continue to go on. Alright, Medora, you wanna hit everybody real quick? Boom. Alright, this guy's unfrozen. So we'll engage him. Holy crap! He almost one-shotted Medora. 
Oh my god. All right, well then. Let's see if we can't stun this one. Stun failed. Can we knock it down? Um Let's see. Can we do anything against this guy? See, I could be using some stuff like this. Which will increase damage dealt. And I can't use Decaying Touch. Oh well. Come on, Decapitator! Take it down. Or not. Well, one of them is taunted. Better than none of them being taunted. These guys hit like a truck, though. Alright, we absolutely positively have to heal Medora. Come on, Nick. Get into melee. I hate how he just shambles that last little bit. Come on, stun one of them. There we go. That's more like it. Let's drop another heal on the door. Sadly, they don't stack. Can we cripple it? Failure. Oh, all he could do is take the one step. I like that. Come on. Let's go ahead and malediction this guy. Failure. Try and get this one's resistance off. Can we decay and touch it? I'm spreading my offense off a little around a little bit, but I got reason to. Kinda wanna debuff the one remaining. Come on, get into melee. And then slow it. Slowed. Yes, as if it could get any slower. Oops. I hope that I hope I didn't like accidentally stop anything. I got to kill this eternal guardian. Do some damage to it. Anything? Um, just basic damage, trying to kill it. Ah, oh, doing nothing. Medora, save me. Thank you. Let's encourage everyone. You can do it. Well, all my stuff's starting to die. I can resummon the spider, though. It doesn't do much damage. But it does some damage, and that's the important part. Just shoot it. Or not. God damn it, Roderick. Why do you suck so much? I don't think I've got any summons except Nick on my main. A stitch in time, eh, my friends? Let's try and zap this. Stun it. Yes! Get another summon up. Why not? Join us, soulless one. Let's 
We win. We win. And the only one that came close to dying was Medora. Although she came real close to dying. I mean, it just doesn't get closer to that. Then she got completely one shot by one of these guys. It's just amazing. I mean, I can't, I can't say I'm that surprised because let's face it, these things are huge. But at the same time, that was pretty scary. Can we finish it off before it recovers? Let's see if we can. Come on, Roderick. Redeem yourself. Yes. Oh, yeah. So what did they drop? Mercy Giver. But it's not even magical. Unidentified Splendid Draconian Wand. Fire Wand. All kinds of, uh, all kinds of loot. I got there's still like a, a smoldering wreck where this one was. Thank you, Fire Elemental. My kingdom for a dry shirt. Got so much stuff to identify next. That calls for a quick save. Continue to explore the tomb. I mean, you've got all kinds of stuff up here. No! I scrolled away for a moment. I'm gonna load after that, because that was kind of silly. Okay, we've loaded up. Um, I'm gonna go this way. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inspect the skeletons. Not that they've got anything on them. Hey, what you gonna do, I Roderick? Something. Let's see. We've got a passage over there. We've got a passage that goes nowhere up there. We've got a further passage past a gate over there. So I'm presuming we go right first, and there's an ornate chest. Can I get Roderick over there? I found something. That looks interesting. Oh, oh my god. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and follow those footsteps. Well, what's this I've spotted? Alright. I spotted something. So far so good. What's this? I found something. Alright, this is weird. I mean this is apparently What's the way this? to go. I found something. What's this? I found something. Not too bad. Ah, there's so many wow, chests what's around. This I've spotted? I need to check those chests out. Can I pull them over? Alright. Let's open the chest up. Not bad. I'm gonna come back here and check this chest out. You know, as soon as as soon as I refresh. All right, here we go. Oh no, everything's poisonous. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna die here. All right, I'm gonna get out of that poison for a moment. Wow, that is just that is just some kind of ridiculous. She's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drink me my potion. And then Jahan 
is going to help me help a row out here and oh this is going to be fun boom you know I, I was lucky I wasn't in there okay I'm go ahead and drink another potion I've got plenty of them Oh no, it returned. Let's say we blow that up again. And then we head up here. What's this? I found something. Yeah, what did you find, dude? Ah, footsteps. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. And the door is open. 4,000 experience. Is there going to be another boss fight up here I can't get to because I'm doing it solo? Let's quick save the game. Immaculate's Corpse. You find an unsaid letter. It is addressed to someone named Jaruna and is assigned Garrick. The letter details plans to meet during the full moon alongside a riverbank, the name of which is unknown to you. It seems to have been written by someone very much in the throes of a fledgling love. A broken off horn. A horn and a dead man. I can't say There's for certain what it means, in sight, but I'm sure the humans patience. will want to hear of it. One could turn out the okay. Perhaps they're even listening as we speak. So there's some people I can talk to, but before I talk to them, let's go down back down here. Cause I Warm as dragon's breath. I'm gonna try to come through here and head over here and try to get up that ramp. Let's blow this up again. Alright, go Roderick. Go. Run, 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 run. Oh, now you're chilled, huh, Roderick? Need to warm up. Oh, god damn it, Roderick. So close. Okay, so I apparently can't go back to the stairs. So that's out. So let's just head up here and talk There's to one of these people. In sight. Patience. One could turn up at any moment. Perhaps they're even listening <sighs> as we speak. Yeah, let's talk to you Moriander. There. Where are the red imps hiding? Red Don't imps? Don't play stupid. We know the cowards jumped to this realm. Uh, easy, sister. Easy. We wouldn't want to scare off a possible... They're after the imps that are hiding in my, in my stronghold. We of the Watch share little with those ruddy chattel. But we do serve a common master. The demons of the realm of Nemesis. We've been tasked with returning the savage renegades to their home plane. Why do you refer to the imps as such? I know not what guise of innocence they have undertaken here, but in our home realm, theirs is a sinister past. Oh, is it now? Eons ago, the red imps were a free race. Clever, yes, but blinded by their thirst for knowledge. Easier prey our demon masters could not have crafted. And so the imps were offered a deal. Knowledge for service. The demons would offer the imps unlimited knowledge of the universe. And in turn, the imps would work off this debt by the sweat of their brows. Sounds a little lopsided. The imps, salivating at such an idea as absolute knowledge, agreed without a second hmm. thought. And each signed his name... Wait, so the, are these imps effectively immortal? His commitment. Knowledge they were granted, yes... But at a great cost, they could only use their newfound abilities in service of the demons of Nemesis. So the imps dealt with demons? No. Wait until you are all that stands between an imp and its freedom. See how quickly impish yeah, well, charm no turns shit, to barbarism. Sherlock. They're, they're slaves. We, the Watch, were made the overseers of the demons' impish slaves. We were kinder than the demons indeed... 
but suffered from the same servitude as those over whom we were given dominion. Whatever commands the demons issued, we had no choice but to enforce. And what of us? We of the Watch who had failed in protecting the Codex right, so, uh, were shown no mercy by our overlords. Half te were sent to temporary the setback. dungeon cells of Nemesis where they would suffer eternal torment. Uh, the uh, recording kind of messed up, so what we missed was... Uh, we of the Watch were made overseers of the demons' impish slaves, who were kinder than the demons indeed, but suffered from the same servitude over those who we were given dominion. Whoever commands the demons issued, we had no choice but to enforce. After a great many centuries, the imps crafted a plan. They would steal the Codex by which they had signed over their lives and flee Nemesis forever. But to get the Codex, they had to go through us. The imps were merciless. Countless innocents amongst the Watch were beaten, bloodied, ripped apart limb by limb as a savage red swarm ran through us. Steal the Codex they did, leaving the shredded innards of those who opposed them in their wake. And now what have we? We of the Watch have been failed in protecting the Codex or shown no mercy by our overlords. Half were sent to the darkest dungeon cells of Nemesis, where they would suffer eternal torment. The other half, well, we were given a task. Find the imps and all would be forgiven. Those cast into the dungeons would be released. Fail and we will be doomed okay. to join them. Yeah, I know where to find the imps Can you seek. Can it be? After these long centuries of searching? Can it be? Um, you'll find the imps on the beaches of Sicil. Fuck you guys. The beaches of Sicil, you say? We had combed those sands already, but if you say it is so, then we'll comb them again. A thousand times if we must. Thank See ya. You, stranger. Thank you and goodbye. And so they disappear. Uh, meanwhile, I'll open the Tomb of the Night, which has an inert stone in it. Yes. Does it have anything else in it? Picked up one inert stone. Nice, nice. Right, is there anything else to do up here? I don't think so. There's just my one stone. I still want to get way over there. This calls for a quick save. I'm going to head down here and see if there isn't a way to go around to the other side. Hi, warm as fresh apple pie. All right. Are there any footsteps over here? Cursed frost. No footsteps. Why are there no footsteps? Here. Clear these out again. No, cast it. All right. I spotted something. Well, here's some footsteps. Come on, give me more. I've spotted something interesting. Okay, come on. Come on, more footsteps. What's this? I found something. Okay. Oh, they're not over the grates, that's why. Okay, come on, so close What's to the this? end, close so close to the out. Yeah, come on. A little help here. There we go. Phew. Yeah. Can Jahan, can Jahan heal him from way over there? No, he can't. But what he can do is light this on fire. I'm warm as fresh and then run up. Wait, oh, you know what I could do? I've just been too stupid to do it. I'm sorry. And now those chests are gone. No! Here. Jahan... Fresh apple pie. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Alright. Back here, waiting for the cloud to reform. Come on, cloud. There you go. Blow it away again. And you know what? Oh god damn it! Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pull that chest over here. Because of course. I cast from the depths of my will. And what's in the chest? Nothing really worth taking, but oh well. Time to clear more of this cloud.
I spotted and something. And continue onward. Chills to, to my bones. Yeah, whatever, Roderick. I spotted something. All right, well, we got another chest. Buy a bone pile. What's this? Which, yes, I'm going to have to go grab. Come on, closer. Oh no. Oh no. Wasn't even worth it. Come on, let me open my inventory, damn it. Hold on. Why is it going everywhere but where I need to do? So yeah, I'm just gonna continue through. Oh, what's this I've spotted? God damn it! All right, lesson learned: don't move that chest. All right, ignoring the chest. Oh, what's this I've spotted? Gotta figure out my way through. Oh, I could do with a cold drink. Well, what's this I've spotted? And can I go up the stairs? <laughs> Quick save before I try. Oh, you can't. That's so inconsistent, because you can go up the main stairs. There's, like, no rhyme or reason as to which stairs you can go up and which ones are trapped. Okay. So it just led me all the way around. And I still can't get up over there, which I'm going to have to do. Tell you what. I'm going to try one more thing. So this time I'm going to have uh, Jahan come with me. I'm going to have Jahan try to throw Roderick up the stairs. So Roderick's going to be here, and Jahan's going to be here. And Jahan is going to chuck Roderick up to the top of the stairs. All right, Roderick lived. And what is past here? I'm going to quick save after that. Nice. Meteorite Strill Books. Meteorite Strill Skill Book. My bad. I can't even pronounce that. There you go. Nice. And you've got a shiny golden ladle and a couple purple ones. Yes, nice, nice. All around nice. And we got some sort of tomb, which I can't quite open. And nothing else really to loot. However, that skill book looks nice. So I'm going to quick save. I'm going to try and figure out how to get down here. Oh. Well, that's apparently not it. I'll just have to go to the top of the stairs and get Jahan to throw me back down. Heal and Roderick. And then Chuck and Roderick. Splat. Alright, Roderick. I need to get the, the PC-friendly version of that one. Because it, that one is... As funny as it is, it is kind of damaging. All right, everybody's back together. And it is time to leave this place. Uh, I will go back to Hunter's Edge. Or actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the end of time. I'm going to talk to my imps. Yo, where are my imps? Where are my imps at? Why ain't they following me? Yeah, stop bombarding me. Yo, where the hell are my imps? Where are my imps? Oh, everybody's in hiding. Okay, well... 
I guess I can't complete it. Let's go back to Hunter's Edge. Well, here we go. There's Cordelia, whom I think I've heard of. Tell me, how's your vision? Any ailments in the liver or spleen? Lost ones are everywhere these days, after all. Tell me about yourself. Or wait, let's see, you got anything to trade? Ah, there's the small bone totem. Could I just buy it from her? Tell me about yourself. I'm a servant to the goddess, of course. One of the first among her enlightened. So she'll just sell the totem? Certainly, the most devoted. I've scoured the region for unworthy souls, and am quite efficiently cleansing the land of lost ones, great and small. She's How the one that the turned those others into uh, skeletons. My expertise as a necromancer is unmatched, you know. I've a success rate is nearing ninety-nine percent. And what about the other one percent? They end up with their brains a bit. Well, hmm. scrambled. You can find such a fellow opining over skulls somewhere around here. One of my more harmless false steps, I think. All right. Can I just buy that? Yes. I've purchased the quest item. Let me go talk to the uh, to the skeletons. I guess. What can I do for you, citizen? Okay, wrong skeleton, but that's okay. Rough patch, I'm afraid. Immigration's a real head scratcher these days. Now, I don't discriminate against orcs, of course, but they are rather rowdy fellows with some very peculiar habits. And then there's the red uh, guy, shot up terribly recently. Yeah, this guy is a little bit a little bit strange. You would think that kind of thing only happens in the big city. Hmm. No, we have hmm. our fair share of urban problems here in Hunter's Edge. Busy days, busy days, but don't you worry. Their burden's on the ball. Yeah, if you say so. Let's go talk to the merchant. Okay, Horton. Here you go. You're still alive. Wait to beat the odds. And who are you exactly? Say I remember I was before the change. He's an especially bright one, you know. Most oh, wait a minute. can only revive a dead corpse into an animated I think I've heard this already. She manages to yank back some semblance of consciousness too. I don't remember much, but the thrill of trade certainly calls to me. <laughs> Maybe I was a merchant in my former life. Who knows? These days, most undead are busy haunting Sicil or picking the way in the Lucula mines. But I keep a low profile and stay out of sight. I haven't been bothered by an immaculate yet, and I hope to keep it that way. Ah, well, I've got the Bone Totem, which I purchased. Wait, what What just happened? My, how did a spleen get lodged in here? The totem's cold. Lifeless sockets seem to assess you. All right, come back into my pocket with you. Oh, that's not his totem. It's like just another totem. All right, so I could do some necromancy, I guess, later on. Uh, I'll have to look that up. I'll have to look that up, figure out what it, what it is, because I am, I am at a loss on that one. You know, I realize I don't actually have to do anything here. I think I've pretty much finished this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back out of town and head into the Phantom Forest proper. Uh, I did not mean to be back in Hunter's Edge. That's okay, I will head out to here. Alright, so there's this bridge here that leads out of Hunter's Edge. And we'll see what's across it. Actually, it's getting on, and I had some technical difficulties, so I have no idea how much I'm going to have to cut out. But I think we're going to go ahead and explore the actual Phantom Forest in the next episode. Now, I, pr I know I'm not done with Hunter's Edge, but I'm done enough with Hunter's Edge. Um, we accomplished the Knight's Tomb. That's a step forward. Anyway, this has been the RPG Crawler with Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content, both tabletop and computer. Until next time, take care and goodbye.